What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modern X and the Galaxy Note 8 has to be one of the fastest phones on the market with the Snapdragon 835 and six gigabytes of RAM. It even beat the iPhone 8's A11 chip in my speed test. I'll leave a link to that video below if you haven't already seen it. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Note 8 even faster than it is out of the box. We're going to activate beast mode. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you can do to improve performance on your Galaxy Note 8 is get rid of all of these bloatware applications. Verizon is normally pretty bad about adding all sorts of extra applications that you don't really need on your phone. The easiest way to get rid of these is to long press the application and disable. You can only disable it if it is a system application. In this case, the Amazon shopping is a system application, but if you disable it, then it's not able to run in the background. So you wanna go through and do that with all of your extra bloatware applications. Applications. If we go into the Verizon folder, you guys can see I've already gotten rid of most of the applications in here, but like this Slacker radio, I don't use that. I can fully uninstall that one. And there's a several games that came with this phone that I don't use. The Hum application, go ahead and uninstall that. We can uninstall the NFL mobile application. Anything that you're not going to use, just go ahead and uninstall it. Next up, you'll want to go ahead and remove any of your installed applications that you don't actually use. Those can also take up precious RAM in the background. The way you can find out which of those applications take up the most RAM is you can go into your settings and then unlock developer options, go to about phone, go to the build number and tap on that seven times until developer options are unlocked go into developer options then you can go into running services and this is going to show you all of the applications that are running in the background so i've installed this subscriber account to keep up with my subscribers even though i'm not currently using the application it's taking up 190 megabytes of ram that's really hogging up a bunch of the ram you can choose to stop the app and it'll probably just pick back up in the background or you can find any of these applications and just uninstall them. While you're in developer options, there's one more setting that we can change to make our phone a little faster. If we go down to our animations, you can actually set these animations to half or you can turn them all the way off and that's going to make your phone feel a lot faster. So the animations that you get going from say the settings back to home, that animation takes time and if you turn it off or reduce the time that it takes, it can make your phone feel a whole lot faster. So we'll go ahead and change our window animation scale to half. We'll change our transition scale to half and our animation duration scale to half. And that's going to make things look a whole lot faster. You can take that a step further and just turn it off completely. You'll see that going between screens takes virtually no time at all, just makes it feel so much faster. The next optimization may seem a little counterintuitive. We're going to reduce the resolution of the display. To power a quad HD display takes more resources and is more resource intensive on your phone. And you really notice the difference in battery life, not so much performance. You will notice a slight difference in performance when you change it to a lower resolution. So the way you would do that is jump back into your settings go to display and in display you can go to screen resolution I have mine set to QHD but if you go all the way down to 720p you will notice an increase in battery life and you'll certainly notice an increase in performances especially when playing graphic intensive games you're gonna notice less stutters and less frame lag in those games if you have your resolution set to a lower resolution such as the 720p if it's multitasking that you're concerned with and you don't really worry about your battery life there's one thing that you can do to make multitasking even faster than it already is. Now, the Note 8 actually does a pretty good job at RAM management, but you can force it to manage RAM even better. So we'll go into settings and go into your battery. Now you'll notice there is a save power mode and everything that's checked here, if you click save power, it will allow these to shut off when they're not in use. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you have a couple options here unmonitored apps and always sleeping apps. So if you go into this always sleeping apps, you can choose apps to fall asleep when they're not in use and they do that all the time. Samsung never has them open in the background so that they can't drain your battery. On the flip side, you can go to where it says unmonitored apps and then you can add applications into this panel 
and they will never be shut down in the background. So no matter how much battery they're using, they will always be available for you in the background. That way, if you switch out of the app, come back to it, it'll always be where you left off and it won't shut down and have to be rebooted from scratch. Nothing quite helps performance like resetting your phone, but if you're like me, you never reset your phone. You just plug it up at the end of the day to charge and then you take it off the charger when you wake up in the morning and go about your day. Restarting your phone ever so often really can help to improve performance. These few things should help you to get even better performance out of the Galaxy Note 8 if you liked the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com follow me on twitter at droidmoderx thanks guys for watching be blessed i'll see you in the next one